Omar Jordan, RIT Safety Solutions. Back again with uh, our preferred technique for exiting the window. This time we're going to use a hook as opposed to a remote anchor. This particular hook is the Crosby hook developed by FDNY in, uh, co uh, in collaboration with uh, the Crosby group. Uh, it's been a very good hook. It's worked for years. A lot of people like it. Uh, there are other hooks that we offer. We offer the flash hook by CMC and we offer the NARS hook by RPI. Uh, any of these hooks can go on our systems in any configuration of descending devices, whether it's webbing or rope. A um, little bit different on the hand placement and the technique because we're using a, a hook at the window as a re, as a, compared to a remote anchor. Um, the remote anchor, I was very deliberate of saying, make sure this left hand stays on the wall side of the window. Okay, just the opposite with the hook. What we're going to want to do with the hook is we're going to want to get the hook placed up here. We're going to want to pound it and we're going to want to cup it all the way out the window while we're putting weight on the system. Okay? Those two things combined is what's going to make it safe for you to get down using a hook. Okay? Uh, normally, if it's a, a single uh, or a multi-apartment, there's going to be some kind of a drywall that you can get hooked into that would actually um, uh, embed this entire portion of the, uh, the point into the drywall, making it much more If you have concrete, uh, ceramic tile, uh, you want to make sure you get a good bite with the point, okay, before exiting, and never let go of the hook, never let go of the break end, okay? We're going to do the same thing. We're going to stay down below the windowsill, okay? We're going to get everything ready. I have my descending device. I have the break end, and I have my hook, okay? So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing I just did. I'm going to stay low. I'm going to put that hook. I'm going to pound it. I'm going to cup this hook, and I'm going to go right out the window just like before. Now, at this point, especially with the hook, this is a good idea to keep your left leg in with your arm. Now I can say, okay, I've got weight. My hook is staying. I'm on the system, and now I'm secured. Okay? I never let go of the brake hand. I had my hook cupped. I'm pushing down, putting weight on the hook the entire time that I'm coming out. Now I'm ready to lower myself. Okay? You can loosen up on that beam. There again, always make sure you have safeties uh, and the right, right equipment and everything to, to be doing the training. Same thing as before, I'm going to start in a one or two o'clock position. I'm going to squeeze the lever and I'm going to go down. If I want to go faster, I simply bring my arm out down. If I want to stop and let go, or either come up here to a start position again. Okay?